talk about this binomial distribution. Um, so many random variables, they're, they're really counting the number of successes in n independent trials. So by successes, we don't necessarily mean um, that it has to be like a winning trial or anything. It just means whatever you're interested in, right, whatever outcome out of two outcomes you're interested in, um, a lot of times the random variable is counting how many times that interesting event happens in n number of trials. So let's say we have um, 20 independent trials, we could have zero successes, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 20, right? So that would be, um, so the number of successes would be our k value, and k can range from zero to 20. So just to give you examples of some, uh, it might be counting the number of heads in a random sample of 10 flips of the coin. So here the random variable x is a number of heads. Right? Um, another example is counting the number of children who have been diagnosed as autistic in a random sample of 1,000 children. So here, in this case, the random variable x is number of children diagnosed with autism. autism. All right. And another example is counting the number of defective items in a sample of 20 items. So um, notice that, you know, when you think of the word defective, you don't really think of that as successes. But it's really what we're doing is we're counting some outcome of interest for every n trials. In this case, n is 20, right? So here, x equals number of defective items. And um, just to round it out, let's talk about what the n is here. Um, so n, in this case, is 10. n, in this case, is 1,000. And n, in this case, is 20. Right? Um, so let's think about why these are called binomial situations. So in each of these situations, um, you either have a success, the um, the event of interest, or you have a failure. It's, it's not an event of interest. Um, so here, what we would see is that there's, in all, of these, uh, in all of these different situations, there are two outcomes that you could have. You could either have a head or a tail, and they both have some probability, and those probabilities add up to one, right? It has to, because you only have those two choices. Um, there's, here, um, it's either being diagnosed as, the probability of being diagnosed as autistic and the probability of not getting that diagnosis. There's only those two outcomes. Um, and here, it's either being defective or not being defective. It's those, it's one other of those two outcomes. So. These are binomial situations because there's two outcomes that are disjoint, right? So it's one or the other, right? And if you add the probabilities of those outcomes, so if you add the probability of outcome one, right, plus the probability of not outcome one, right, so the other one, then you should get one. And so another way to put it is the probability of one outcome, uh, outcome one, is equal to one minus the probability of not that outcome, right? So that's the other way you could think about this.